Okay, so I have to take an L, and I figured this would be a good video for people to direct others to when talking about this theory anyways, so here we go. The main villain of the Owl House, Emperor Bellos, is related to the lead adult character, Ada Clothorn, and by extension, the whole Clothorn family. Spoiler warning if you haven't seen Hollow Mind, like a chump, or someone with a busy schedule who doesn't prioritize watching that new episode of a TV show over everything else, unlike some people. If you want to stay in the loop of all these shows as they air, then definitely subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a single upload. And if you like dope merch, check out Toon Drip, link down below. So the idea that Emperor Bellows is related to the Clothorns is something that has been foreshadowed through things ranging from symbolic imagery to similar mannerisms in multiple characters. Like how the Palisman of Del Clothorn and Hunter sport identical scars to Bellows, aka Philip Woodabane, and Del himself. Or how both Ida and Hunter had the exact same inflection when saying, Bye! 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 Hunter was recently confirmed to be a Grimwalker, a clone of Bellows' brother, who evidently was killed by Bellows after falling in love with a witch. This is where I need to take my L. So in my newest breakdown for the episode Hollow Mine, I made the foolish claim that the OG Hunter, Bellows' brother, is actually the father of Dale Clothorn. My line of thinking was that, because one of the first paintings we see within the mindscape of Emperor Bellos is his brother carving him the first iteration of the Emperor Bellos mask. It was said in Elsewhere and Elsewhen that Del Clothorn is proficient in palisman making, which is a process that requires carving palistrum wood. And Ida's mom, Gwen, stated that carving palisman was a Clothorn specialty. So between this, the similarities and mannerisms and even designs between Ida and Hunter like the top of their hair, Ida initially having the portal door, an invention by Philip Woodabane, and so on. It was pretty obvious that there was a connection. But what sealed the deal for me wasn't just this painting of OG Hunter carving, but the other portraits revealing that this OG Hunter fell in love with a witch who has hair styled exactly like Ida's. She very much looks like a Clothorn, and with her baby bump, we can infer that they had a child together though Philip killed OG Hunter before the child was born. And being the jolly dum dum I am, I made the assumption that this child is Del, finally making sense of what the scar of Del's palisman represents. But as the comments rightfully pointed out, OG Hunter would have been killed in the 1600s. The Owl House takes place in like 2020, 2019. It's in present day, you get the idea. Dana's already said before that humans and witches tend to have similar lifespans, and people like Bellows are able to prolong their life through unnatural means. So basically, unless he's on his immortality grind, there's no way Dell is a half millennium old. God, jeez, Kevin, stupid. No, I'm kidding, that's negative self-talk. I'm actually very resourceful and intelligent. I would say, I don't know what I was thinking, but honestly, I know I was just excited from the adrenaline of these plot threads connecting together in the first place. And given my relatively quick turnaround for these videos, I didn't take the time to think it through a little bit more to realize Dell would be a descendant of that child, but he's not the actual child. So to get it right, Philip and his brother grew up during the witch trials, taught to hate witches, and eventually got lured into the demon realm by a witch. There, Philip and his brother drifted apart as his brother fell in love with a clawthorn. Having a child together, Philip kills his brother before the child is born, followed by embracing the identity of Emperor Bellos. The clawthorn would survive, however, presumably going on to have the child, continuing the bloodline, which would eventually lead to death who led to Ida and Lilith. So Bellows is like a great 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 uncle. That's great. I'm sure this show will bring this revelation to light in a direct way sooner rather than later, as season two has had pretty good pacing. But for now, it recontextualizes season one in a really cool way and makes you realize how off the deep end Bellows is, initially having Lilith serve as the head of the Emperor's Coven, because unlike his brother, she was family that he could control. And on the other hand, there's Ida, a rogue witch he couldn't control. So just like his brother and the countless Golden Guard Grim 
Time Walkers, Bell sought to destroy her. He's an absolute menace, and the more we learn about him, the better of a villain he becomes for the series. At least in my eyes. He opposes Luce and the themes of the show in a really cool way. I mean, by cool, I mean utterly sadistic, but you know what I mean. Villains are cool. But yeah, addendum made, L taken, I wish Ida was real. Thanks for watching. Also, we got this video out pretty fast, so you know, now we have a little tip jar, so if you just want to hit thanks on the video, maybe drop some bucks, you don't have to. The best way to support us beyond liking the video and subscribing would just be checking out Toon Drip. All of that being said, I really do wish Ida was real.